Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part two of Franbo. And in this episode, we're going to be playing through chapter two of the game. I'm planning to do one chapter per episode, unless there's like a super long chapter or something that takes multiple hours to get through. So yeah, these episodes will probably be around an hour long each, and we'll go through chapter by chapter. So let's dive into chapter two. Now, if you remember in chapter one, guys, we just escaped a mental asylum where Fran was being treated for this sort of horrific incident that had happened to her. Her, where her family essentially was murdered in this really gruesome way. She lost her little black cat called Mr. Midnight. She didn't have a clue who killed her parents and what had happened. So she's trying to unravel this mystery while also trying to reconnect with her last remaining family member, her aunt Grace. And we have this strange mechanic where she gets to take these red pills, but every time she takes one of these red pills, the world around her sort of changes into this realm of the dead, where everything is just dead and rotting and decaying and strange. Um, it's a really unique concept and it kind of means that every single scene in the game has these two different layers But you guys will see if you haven't watched chapter one yet I would say watch that first because it's a story heavy game But with that said let's dive into chapter two and get going Chapter two part one curiosity symptoms Ooh. All right guys We've got to chapter two. Oh My goodness that was close I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Right, so what can we see here? We've got a little teddy bear. Dear, your arm is gone. Good that you're not bleeding. So we're actually in what seems to be like a garbage dump here. We just crawled through this sewer duct to get here. If we take a red pill, Ooh, we've got a ghost. Okay, let's speak to the ghost. She's gone. Let's follow her. A key and lots of heads. Oh, it's kind of creepy. Curiosity is damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious. Otherwise, how do you learn things? But what are you? You were kind of curious yourself. What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? Um, I'll ask if we, have, we can have the key. She says, oh, but the key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you are up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. I'll say, I'm Fran. You were very honest, I like that. I'm a person, Fran, pleased to meet you. Interesting, tell us more. I'll say, I had a cat. I have a cat, well I had one. He's missing now, I have to find him. Really? Yes, really, now please give me the key. Look, person Fran, we came from the south, flying as always. So these are all witches. And one of us got curious about this key, and then all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So, you are also curious, can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Alright, then do that. There is a problem, a filthy thief took the comb, and now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief and a comb, you will have the key. Deal? Uh, what does he look like? It's a rat, a filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. Okay, I'll say I'll try my best. We will be here waiting. Yeah, they can't do much else. So basically, these heads of the witches are stuck to this tree. And I'm sure this is all symbolic for something. And we've got a key, but we can't take the key until we find the rat thief to comb the hair of these different witches. And in return, they'll give us the key. So, I guess we should probably... Let's just change things back. There's nothing much happening here in the real world. So, let's take the pill again and let's go to the next screen. Wow, look at that. There's like a monster or a demon in the background. 
if we... Oh, what? That's kind of weird. So, when we change back, we've actually got these giant bugs in the real world now. Which doesn't seem really likely. Oh, wow, you really are a big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir, are you real? Ah, you always ask the same thing, always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody, don't worry. But what are you doing here? My cat is out here somewhere and I have to find him. A cat, you say? A black cat. Yes, sir. With very big yellow eyes, Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. You haven't seen him? It happens to be that the cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. What? Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. That's a beetle pig next to us and it looks like a giant wood louse. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't, any f had, hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. That's a very strange sentence. Stop it! Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only one I have. Are you joking? Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not as fast as you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Oh man, that'd be horrible. The cat's just like in there, in the stomach of that beetle pig. So, uh, should we make it vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Wow. Okay, I can do it then. Kill your beetle pig friend? I... I can do it, yes. Do it. You can kill the beetle pig. And I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Right. Oh, you pig. Did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight. Just wait, don't die. Okay, so... We need to find something that... We can't use a crayon to kill him, I don't think. We need to find something that we can use to kill him. So let's go to the next scene. Ooh, there's a, a hatchet over here. Or an axe of some kind. Little owl. What kind of bird are you? We've got a hedgehog in the background. Yeah, we can use the axe, I'm pretty sure. Let's just see what this scene looks like normally. Well, not normally. Ooh, there's a well. A well? I could try to open it and see what's inside. Can I use the axe on that well then? Yeah, we can. What a bluff. There is no hole in here. Hmm. What's the sign say? Make an entry. We just did make an entry. Can I hit the uh, stone? No. There's a feather here as well. Let's take the feather. Right, now let's go to the next screen and see if we can kill the uh, little beetle pig. It's going to be pretty savage. Oh, it ran away. Of course it did. I think we're going to have to distract him somehow. He just runs. He just runs away. She should just sneak up behind him and use the axe. Hmm. Wake up. The pig won't stay still. It seems that shouting and pushing him won't help. Maybe I have to try something more subtle. Oh, tickle him with a feather, maybe. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the threat is great, great. Oh, sorry, but the beetle pig gets scared every time I try to kill it. Oh, I see. But that is completely normal, isn't it? <laughs> it should cooperate. Uh, yes, but what shall I do then? You have to give him the special berries, the blueberries. Hmm. There are no berries. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have the blueberries. My house is in that direction, so be careful. 
Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, we can go up the road here. Oh, there's that cat again. Oh, no, it's falling in the, in the water. We rescue him? Bip, bip. Look, Fran, I'm in danger. Okay, can we, can we get him? Find me alive, find me dead. Find me someday in a golden cage. Hmm, okay. I mean, this is kind of nice in the real world, you know, it's kind of serene. This might be his house that he was talking about. Let's see if we can go in here. This must be the ant's house. Okay. It seems to be open, but it's very stuck. Can I just smash it down with the axe again? Oh no, I broke the door. Well, now I can get in. Yeah, let's take the door knob. Oh, a door handle. To handle big problems, I'll keep it. Okay, I don't think there's anything we can do. Let's go into the house. Ooh, kind of a nice little house. We've got a paintbrush here. Someone forgot to clean the brush. What's this? I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment, okay? So I guess we could reattach the doorknob maybe. Don't know if that's what we have to do. Or we could try and glue the little um, beetle pig down. There's a little house over here. Oh, there's little acorns living in it with demonic faces. Kind of freaky, not gonna lie. Wow, you are very rare. Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Oh no! You made the baby fall over. Maybe I could make him fall over and then get this. Oh, blueberries! Yeah, we need the blueberries, don't we? Here's the blueberries, okay. Oh, he tries to stab us, I see. We need to, okay, so we need to knock over the little baby so that she moves away from the blueberries. But we need to do something with this guy as well. Right, I think we should go and have a look. We actually have what seems to be a shelf going down to the house. So I'm wondering if we can like, I don't know, roll something down it or something. Let's change the scene over. Oh, okay, that is creepy. Looks like a, a delivery man or something. What's he got, like a bag? I'm not taking that bag, not with all his ants on it. I mean, I don't blame you to be honest. Right, let's change it back. We need to... Can we get on a bench here? We can. We can get the meat. Okay, so we've got some meat now. Maybe we can use the meat to distract those ants. Let's have a look. If I get the meat and just use it on the ants. There you go. They've got something else to feast on now. I'll leave this poor guy's body alone. And now we've got a bag. So can we use the bag? Can we see if there's anything inside it? Yes. We've got... What's this? An exterminator card with a number on it. And we've also got a trap. Oh, we could maybe use the mouse trap to trap him. Put a blueberry in the mouse trap. And that will trap the beetle as it like goes to eat the food and then we can get him. It's a bit morbid, but there you go. Hmm. Could we use a mouse trap, I wonder, on this guy? Yes, we put mouse trap on the floor, so that's what it's for. Because when he goes over, he's gonna get stuck in the mouse trap. That's a bit harsh though. Anyway, let's try this. So we're gonna knock the baby over and try and grab the pine cone. There you go. Oh, he actually got... I, I missed that then. I was focused on other stuff. He's got caught. Can we just grab the uh, suit, maybe? There we go. We got them. It worked that time. Nice. Let's go. We'll leave uh, the dad to get rescued by his wife. I kind of feel like his leg's probably not going to work the same again, but... Oh, here's the ghost again. Right, let's try and um, trap this little beetle now. Here you go, little thing. Have some blueberries. And now while you eat those, I'm going to kill you. Sorry. Oh man, that's nasty. 
But it's just a rat, though. It's not a cat. What? You are not my cat. Maybe this is for Rat Thief, though. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Good for you, but I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume that you were feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for my cat. And what is the point of everything now? Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble quite often. Wait, maybe he is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. He's a very polite rat. I'll say that much. Look at that. Look at the beetle pig. I feel sorry for that little thing. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness, could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. I wonder if he's the guy that's got the, uh, yeah, the hair comb. Here we go. Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then. But can you please comb my hair first? Yes, I can comb your hair. There you go. Very strange. Very strange, that is, but never mind. Thank you, my lady. You were very kind. And now we have the comb. That wasn't too bad. Right, let's go back and get this key then from the witches. There they are. So we need to take the hair comb and brush their hair. There you go. Another creepy image for us. Oh, you, Fran, the person, you finally did it. And they've all turned into dragonflies now. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. And now we can take the key. Right, so guys, we'll go back to the well now. I wonder if we can actually put the door handle on the well. No, I was going to say if we could make, make a door appear by putting the door handle on the well and then unlocking it, but I don't think we can. Also, the rat's sort of dead bodies there now, which is kind of weird. I wonder if we can glue the door handle. That could work. Maybe we still can use the door handle here. Just glue that onto the well. No, we still can't. What's this? <gasps> I could make something out of this. It looks like a door. Oh, wait. Yes, we can combine the door handles with the door. I've been looking around for ages, guys. I didn't realize that I had missed something on the first screen. This is why you always want to examine everything. Um, because if you miss the like, smallest thing in this game, you can be just looking for ages, wondering what to do. So I think now we've done this, we can actually glue the door to the well, probably. Which is what I originally had assumed we do. So let's take this door um, and glue it to here. And it works, yes. This is really odd. My own door is locked. Ah. Well, we can unlock it with a key then, can't we? So there we go. It worked, woohoo! So let's go inside. Here we go. I've got another cutscene. What a curious little door. Down the stairs we go. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? Oh, someone's behind us. What the heck is that? It's horrible. It's attached to our eyeball. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. Okay. What? <laughs> We're asleep in a cat basket. Oh my goodness, where am I? Let's wake up. We've got like meat in a dish to eat. It's so weird. Huh? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight hat. Mr. Midnight, oh no, your head. Kitty. Wait a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. 
What a weird house, I say. And look at the, the skull on the shelf. Anyway, I have to find Kitty. I hope he's here somewhere. So we've got a little note here. It says, Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Okay. What's over here? Hmm. A head from a human, I guess. Are those eyes? Ugh. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. So I wonder if we can actually do anything with any of this. A cooker to cook. My mummy told me how to use this. Uh, okay, cool. So here is Clara and Mia. And they've got Mr. Midnight. He says, Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. If I were to keep the chimney warm. Okay, let's change the scene over then and see what it looks like. Wow. So when we change the scene, we're at the bottom of a well. And we've got some dead children just like floating in the water. It's not a pleasant sight. A secret bottle with a secret inside. Let's go and examine these bodies. Did your mummy drop you? Yeah, they've been dropped into the well. That's so morbid. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? It's like this is the local well for dumping bodies or something. Okay, let's climb up. Ooh, nice. Can we get to the secret bottle? I reckon we can if we just follow this around. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. So we need to get across this, guys, this gap. We need, in order to do that, a bridge. So let's change the scene over. And see if we can find something in this house to use as a bridge. What is this? A book of matches to light up the darkness just for fun. Sweet. Don't know if the uh, running the tap is a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. It's quite a nice house. It is creepy. Let's not get it. It's net, let's not twist it. It is creepy, but it is still kind of a nice house in some ways, you know. Cozy. Cozy but morbid. Hmm. Caramel sauce all over it. Okay. What happens if we change over the scene in this room then? Oh, we're just still at the bottom of a well. So we're always we're always in the well in the real world. Um, cozy and warm. Well, that's what we just said, isn't it? A vase to put some flowers in. It has ashes inside. Well, that sounds like an urn to me. Here's another picture of Clara and Mia. There we go. I don't think we can do anything with that. Woman at sea with a, well, it looks like a mermaid of some kind, with a flower. And a house on an island. Interesting. Can we examine all these pictures? Is that a flying pig? That's strange. Oh, wow. Okay. This uh, was not what I expected to see when I went through to the next screen. Um, I'm guessing this is Clara and Mia then. Oh, oh my goodness, that smell. Poor girl, who could have done this and why? We've got some records here. There's Antonio the Greatest, he used to be a musician. Oh, a typewriter and it works. Okay. It kind of seems to be suggesting we might need to use that then. Any of this stuff do anything? We've got a picture of Mr. Midnight up there. Many tiny paintings and there's a cat. Yep. The stairs end up in a wall. Okay, so we can't go up the stairs then. Let's go back this way then. Can we go up there? Yes, we can go up here. There's a broom. Can we take the broom? Yes. A blue... Uh, a broom to fly away or just clean around. I wonder if we can now take the pill again and use the broom. Oh, wow. Okay. We just fell down. I wonder actually then if we can fall down. If we would be able to fall down in the right place up here. Probably not, right? Anyway, I'm going to try and use the broom as a bridge. Yes, it works. I don't know how she's walking. Okay. It doesn't work. 
I spoke too soon. Huh. Bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. I can't take it again either, so that's just... That's that idea out the window. The drawer opened. Let's see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. Okay. And we've got a picture. The sisters, they look alike. Ooh, we've got a, la a ladder up to the attic. Let's go through here. So we've got some candles burning here. What's over here? Like a, ooh, a pair of tweezers to pick up things that my little hands can't. I mean, this is weird. Look at all the doll heads in the corner of this room. It's so creepy. We've got a, what looks like a, a mirror here as well. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Uh, oh man, look at all the blood coming out from behind this picture. Let's just explore the rest of this house, I guess, then. Let's go make sure we haven't missed anything. There's a stool here. I wonder if we can stand on the stool. I won't sit down. Oh, look, there's some stuff on here. I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. <laughs> Oh, this opens. What's inside? What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. Okay, I think that's everything we can take. Oh, we know we can take pepper. We can take the salt. I think that's all we can take. Still, we got some more stuff. Can we take this? This looks like a plant. Don't think we can do anything with it. Okay. Let's return to this screen. Ooh. Baking soda? There we go. We can take that. Don't know if we need it, but it's letting us take it. I'm just going to click on everything and see if we can take anything. Well, it's a knife. Can we take the knife? Yes. Oh, a sharpie, shiny knife. It can be good to have. All right. That's all we can take, I believe, guys. Um, the honey looks tasty. Right. So I believe that's probably everything we can we can do here. We've just shut the window as well. Oh my god, the ghost is there again. I'm going back into the attic, guys, just to see if we can do anything. Hey, the light actually works. I couldn't get that to work last time. There's a cage. Okay, let's go and check the cage out. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? Meow. It's you, oh my goodness, my beloved friend, I found you. Fran? Is that really you? Oh dear, finally! It's me, come closer please, let me see you. It is for cats, I was thought it was going to be something weird. Oh Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I mean, it's a, it's a talking cat, so it is kind of weird, but still. I missed you very much, I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh dear Fran, how did you find this place? As those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get you out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine? Fran, it wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I feel the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. <laughs> That's for real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find a key to unlock you. Alright, I love you. Uh, okay, cool. So, I don't think we have a key currently, right? Um, I don't suppose we can use a tweezers to unlock. No. Let's have an explore of the attic. At least we found our friend. Oh my god, that is weird. It's like these are the actual sisters. 
Ah, oh, that's really, really weird. Right, let's go back downstairs then. I think we have to just try and find a key. There's the twin again. Oh, here they are. The twins. I can join twins. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is in just the right place. You, the precious being from another world. Who would have ever believed us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it that you know all of this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish nothing bad happened to me. I feel completely lost. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know who told you these things about me. Are you scared, little Fran? Of course not, I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? Yes, please, I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find a way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. Sounds like such a weird story, doesn't it? And then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they had long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? I'll say yes, ladies. I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. So here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. You will need... Oh, I couldn't read that. I'll read it in a second. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. Oh, they weren't born like this. You mean you weren't born like this? One night a long time ago, some, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. I'll try my best. Okay, we are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cats. But we won't set him free yet, don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Okay, thank you, I'll go and talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? 
Can you? You silly, silly girl. Ha ha ha. Let's examine that note that they gave us. So, lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. This is how we summon the old lost body. So to do this we'll need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, the hair and blood from a black cat, oh that's why we've got the cat, and a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. You, This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you're about to drink the potion, repeat these words. And uh, it says Ma Nam Bu Kagsni O Ma Nani. I'm not going to try and read all of that, but I might take a picture of it on my phone because we might need to remember that when we repeat the ritual. Let's go through to the kitchen. Maybe they've got the stuff uh, ready for us. I don't know. Oh my god, look at that guy. It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Can we get out the window then? We can. Here's a frog. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can just swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give love to us. Just to use us, so don't trust them. Well, they do want the heart of a frog, but he says he's a toad, so... That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you tried to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Okay. What's this? <gasps> a long wooden plank. Guys, we can finally use plank to get across the... Uh, to bridge the gap in the well and, and get across. Okay, let's take the pills. Ooh. So if we take the pills here, we stay in this world. We don't go back to the well. It says doubters need the truth on paper. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. Huh. Okay, let's go back in the house. Okay, let's switch it over then and go back to the well. And it's time to climb up and see if we can use this plank to get across to the other side. So here we go. Use the plank. Yay, this is going to be much sturdier. There we go. Now we need to get the bottle. I can't lift it, it's too heavy for me. Can we cut it? Yeah, we can. Nice. Cut the rope, wonderful. No, the frog! Oh, okay. Well, the frog died. Maybe we can take the heart of a frog. Ah, that burned. Why is there no fire? Oh, it's the acid from a frog. I guess the stomach acid is on there. So what we're going to have to do maybe is... Can we use those tweezers? Yes, there we go. So we took a bit of paper out with the um, tweezers. Let's examine it. So revealing the true soul. Okay, so this is actually the true recipe we need, I think. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and you'll never see the face of truth. To destroy the impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need the following. So basically, oh, it's showing the ones that are crossed out are the, are the things we already have. So we actually have about half of what we need for a recipe. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighter 
Put a lighted black candle on every point of a pentagram, fill a cauldron with water, and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to bewitch, and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay, then it's got the words we need to repeat there. What's this again? A rare seed. I wonder which kind of flower will grow from it. Didn't it say we needed something like a midnight rose? Let's have a look. A blue bloomed moonlight rose. Okay. Maybe we can plant the seed. There we go. Oh, it works. Nice. There's the rose we needed then. So now, if we have a look at this, we should see that another thing is crossed off. Yep. So next we need hair from a person you want to bewitch. And blood from the executor of a ritual. So that would be one of the sisters, right? Or would it be us? Because we are executing the ritual technically, aren't we? So if we use the knife on ourselves, can we get some blood? Yep, we can. It's kind of gruesome. But there we go. Ouch, that hurts, but now I have my blood. <laughs> That's the blood just like running down the screen. Okay, cool. Um, so let's have a look at our note again. We only need hair now from the person you want to bewitch. I wonder if we just can go and find the sisters and ask for some hair. Maybe it's that simple. Oh, a typewriter and it works. Do we use this? I guess I could write, but there's no paper. Maybe we can alter their recipe and change it to the one we have. Yes, because now if if we alter their recipe and put the new instructions on, they think that we're actually giving them the recipe, you know, like, the recipe they've given us, we're actually following it, but we're actually following the one that's going to banish them. So, look, we've just added hair from your head to the end of it. Nice. Doesn't look very convincing. It looks like it's been freshly typed, but never mind. Where can we find them, though, is a question. Oh, here they are. Fran, here are your materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast and let us know when you're ready. So there's the uh, heart of a frog. Psst, girl, I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't, trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. <laughs> and he just fleeces the bag. Okay, so let's go and speak to them and see if we can get some hair from them. We are waiting for you, Fran. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There is no hair needed. We know that. Well, look for yourself. It's written down here in the recipe. Huh, that's true. How could we miss that? Alright. There, now, get prepared. So we've got everything we need now, that's their hair. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Uh, let's light the stove. Okay. Can we use the cauldron? Yep. Pop that on here. Oh, I should have water in the pot first, yes. Let's fill up the pot with water then. Here we go, that's what the tap's for. Nice. Turn that off, save some water. Okay, now we're going to use this on the stove to boil. And we're going to put our blood in. We're going to start making this recipe now, guys. We're putting blood in there. We need to put... Uh, the salt and pepper in there as well. Um, what else did we need? Blue rose we needed, didn't we? So we'll pop that in there. Put that in the pots. So we need to... What did it say we needed to do next? Then we draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a, light, a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Okay, so, we need to 
pop that here, I think, on the floor. There we go. Wow, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Okay, and now we get the candles, and we put them on each point right. There we go. The candles are lit. Pretty fire. Candles lit. Oh, wait, I know what I've forgotten. I know what I've forgotten. I forgot to use the hair. The hair needs to go in as well. Now the hair, good. Nice. That looks like it's worked. Okay. We need to pour this over the girls now. So it said, pour the potion over the person you want to bewitch. So, let's pour it over them. This is going to burn. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Cool. Let's, uh, I, I have a feeling this is going to be, like, really morbid and dark. But, let's just follow them over to the kitchen. They're standing in the middle of a pentagram. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. They don't know what's coming, guys. They just don't know. Here you go. Ooh, okay. And now I'll say the words. That didn't seem to burn them. It must have cooled off. So now we're doing the ritual. Oh, I'm glad the game remembers. I don't have to remember what the words were. I kind of feel sorry for them a little bit. These twins. Wait a second. That's not the right spell. You tricked us. Yep. Now you're screwed. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's horrible. Well, I think their souls are freed, though. I think we did them uh, a solid there. We freed their souls. What have I done? Oh my goodness. This is not right. Well, we've got the key now. We can go and save our cat. Let's uh, go back upstairs. Here we go. Pull this down. Up we go. Use the key. Unlock the kitty cage. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Hmm. I actually didn't see one. I was hoping by selecting that she would say where it was. There's a key There's a key lock at the top of the mirror. Right, here we go. Let's unlock that. The key was for this keyhole. And there's a puzzle inside. Okay. A puzzle we have, guys. What are we doing? I don't understand. What is this? I'm guessing we're trying to move the gears. Um... I'm guessing we're trying to move the gears so that they are all, like, aligned correctly. Yeah, we're meant to move the gears like this and line them all up. I think we, we need to get the... Not only do we need to get the gears in the right place, I think we need to match the correct gears up. Like, this smaller gear needs to be matched with a bigger gear. It can't match with this one because that doesn't reach it, if you see what I mean. It's so tricky to do this. But I think we can get it. Yeah, that works. We need to get the gears to cross over to this one. I think I've done it. Yes. Finally. That's creepy. That is weird. But we finally did it. And the mirror has smashed. Guys, that literally took me about 10 minutes to figure out <laughs> how to crack that. I was just clicking around. Okay, here we go. So this is about the two sisters. It's a sister promise. We, Clara and Mia Bahalmet, promise to revenge the unfair destiny it would decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand for this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to one another, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. And we've got a picture of our mother there, which is mother must die. And the, actually, interestingly, the drug duotine, who, which is the drug the doctor prescribed us in the hospital. We've got a key there. 
It's supposed to be the key for the cage. Let's take the key upstairs and go and free our kitty once and for all. Here we go. It's time to let out Mr. Kitty. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty, it worked. Come out, let me hug you. Here it is. How nice is that? Reunited once again. Ah. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free. Fran, my good friend. You are free, my dear, and now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Right, let's go. We did it. Let's see if we can um, go and ask the toad if we can escape together. Oh, look at he just like has these little idle animations where he does just cat like things. We have a little black cat in our house and it really reminds me <laughs> of, uh, of our cat. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. Look at the cat just licking itself there. But how will you get out of here? There is no boats. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible for me to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us just yet, please. Hmm. Could we? <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I'm going to just try using this on him, the baking soda. What would that do? Puff him up a bit. Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun, but you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here goes. Hey, it worked. That's really weird, but I don't think that would work in real life, guys. Don't go uh, putting baking soda on toads in real life. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He just wants to help. What are you talking about? All right, but if he tries anything, I will scratch him. <laughs> That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're still sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall into the water, we could die, Kissy. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh, that's a picture we lost before of our family. And this book was with it too. It says Leon on it. Hmm. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but this book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> That's a weird sight. But there we go, guys. They're all riding together. Okay, we've got a mini game. So, I like how it's like claymation. That's really awesome. So this is literally like the old classic game Frogger. We go to one. To the next. Oh no, we failed. Okay, that was bad. If the time is just right. There we go, we made it. Now it's going to get harder. Come on. Give us something else to jump to. Quick. Yes. And across. We had to bide our time there. Okay, this is going to be tricky. I can tell. Oh no! The music is strange as well. I imagine this is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Come on! Yes! Almost, 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 almost. Nice, we made it. There we go. Right, that was quite fun. That was a fun little uh, break. Here we are, jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Thanks, Mr. Toad. <laughs> well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, you too, farewell. 
Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Right, let's go. Fran, what should we do now? Find a way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty, we'll find a way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear, let's go. Sweet. Let's do it. This bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on, we have to go home, there's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, alright, then you follow me. Alright, Kitty, you're so sweet, I'll be right behind you. Cool, well he made it across easy enough. Let's just go. Oh no, this isn't good. Keep running. I'm just going to keep clicking. Hopefully we make it to the other side. Fran, wait. Oh no. It's a demon again. Okay. Should have known. Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friends. Come on. You can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. Nice. I got you. No! Fran! <laughs> At least he follows us down. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. This is a flashback to her family. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry my little girl, your heart is pure but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, please don't go, please. This is a flashback to when she was in the asylum. And there's the doctor. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. She doesn't want it. It's like the medicine is what's, you know, making it worse for her. Ooh, this is an interesting place. This actually looks quite pretty and nice. Can we just stay here all the time? <laughs> it's like crystals in the background. Oh, what happened? Wait, am I playing as a cat now? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Now this is interesting indeed. Is there like a tree here? It's a living tree. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratched you, you evil thing. <laughs> Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? Wait, is this Fran as the tree? I think it is. Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. She's realizing. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear. This was the end of a line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, that night mum and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it, I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend, a tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. It's alright, Fran, we'll save you. What the heck is this? Homka! Igni ma hola? Kolk, kolk. Ah, uh, I can't read all this. <laughs> I'm just going to click through it. They're speaking in a different language. 
a make-believe language. And they're poking Fran with a stick now. She says, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? He's just kind of shouting at her. Stop it. I'll scratch you. He says, hola. Run my igni. Uh, what are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hola. Sounds like hola. <laughs> Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. All right, cool. It says, kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. All right. I'll see what I can do, Fran. There's a little shoe here. Fran's shoe. He just licks it. Uh, we go through to the next screen. There is the purse atop this lily pad. Nice. Oh, okay, but it retracts. Is there anything else we can pick up? What's this? Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Okay. Can I do anything with the stone? There you go. We'll wedge the crystal in there. And that'll allow us to get here and for the bridge not to retract. I got the purse only because I'm the best. Okay, well, don't celebrate quite yet. Let's take the purse back to Fran. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking me the family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. All right, so let's show the picture to him. And he's just kind of like looking at this picture. Oh, okay, he's taken away now. The vegetables are kidnapping Fran. She looks pretty scared. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Okay. Don't be afraid, my friend. I didn't think this uh, game was going in this direction where we had Fran turning into a tree and vegetables trying to save her in a boat on the land. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Okay, so let's get on the tree and go. And the boat flies away, because of course it does. Perfectly normal for the boat just to fly like that. Okay guys, well that is where I'm going to end it. After the boat flew away, it went to chapter 3. It went to the beginning of chapter 3, so I'm actually going to start that in the next video. I've been recording for about an hour and a half on this video. Um, again, I'll try and edit it down to about an hour and just show you the bits where I sort of got through the puzzles and stuff, not the bits where I was stuck. But I will just warn you that today was so hot. We've got a heat wave here. I've got no air conditioning in my room. I've had to keep the window closed while I record. So if I sound a bit tired and like worn out while I'm recording this, it's just because I'm absolutely sweating buckets and it's been like super hot. So I'm going to sign off now. Um, I will try and get another episode out before the end of a week for this game. I want to sort of mix it up with some other videos in between. But yeah, Frambo's been good so far. Very, very weird. I hope you've been enjoying it. If you have been enjoying my playthrough, take the time to leave a comment, hit that like button, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.